Hi, this is David Palkin. Welcome back. This is Core Solutions of Skype for Business 2015. This um, video is about deploying Skype for Business 2015 external access. This lab is designing and implementing external user access, finding the edge server in the topology. So what I'm going to do is add the edge server to the topology and publish it. And then next I'm going to do is export the topology. So I'm in DNS on uh, one DC1 metadata. I'm going to say new host. I'm going to say LUN dash EDG. And I'm going to give it 172.16.0.5 in the host. Is it done? And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go then to the um, SFB1, and I need to bring up the topology builder. And I'm going to download it, of course, usual, and save it. It's topology. So I'm going to save this one as lab 8A. What I'm going to do is find this one is here. I'm going to go to Edge Pool, see New Edge Pool, next. And the Pool FQDN, of course, one edge, go to datum.com, get rid of the period here. This pool is one server. Now, of course, if we have Multiple servers, we want load balancing and high availability, then we pick this option, but we only have one for the intents of this uh, video. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to enable all the duration. I'm going to enable all the options for this. Of course, you can look in help to learn more about what they are. I'm going to use a single FQDN and IP address. Next. I'm going to leave everything in the default. I'm going to use IPv4. Now, on this one right here, yep, I'm going to add in. SIP.adatum.com. This one right here. It'll leave the default. Another 172.16.0.5. The external is going to be 192.168.1.5. I'm going to take the default of pool out of data. Now, associate for the front end, I'm going to actually do is select this for external traffic. And I'm going to finish. I'm going to edit properties of a data headquarters. I'm going to take the federation route. I'm going to enable SIP federation. You see now this one is in which I've been defining in here. Great. That's in there. Enable XMPP federation. I'm going to say OK. Then I'm going to do, I'm going to publish it, and there's no errors. We'll be good to go. Everything was successful right here. Fantastic. The next thing I'm going to do is export the topology. So I'm opening up the exchange, you know, the actually the uh, Skype for Business Management shell, which is PowerShell with the modules loaded in. Then export it. So this right here. 
Great, so I've added London-Edge at datum.com to the topology, and I've exported the central management store to a zip file. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install the Edge server in London Edge. What I need to do is set the um, default gateway in this PC right here. So on the perimeter, I'm going to need to set the default gateway. So 192.168.101. Great. So I'm going to take this one right here. The DNS suffix for this one right here. Datum.com. Start it. We start it now. Now that I have done is I set the default gateway and I set the DN uh, the FQDN on it. And I just see first I'm gonna install it'll auto install the Microsoft Visual C runtime. And then after that it'll go on. So I'm not going to check my internet right now for this demo, of course. Check the terms, of course. Right. So what I'm going to do is on here. I have to do is I have to install the local store first. Because remember, this is not part of a domain. So I'm going to install the local edge internal. Select and I'm going to request. I'm going to specify another CA. Because remember the this is an edge one. Now I'm going to use this data administrator. Next. I'm going to mark it as exportable. Next. A datum. IT. Next. I'm going to select the United Kingdom. UK. London. Next.
I'm not going to specify any sand here. Next. Wait for it to be completed. Good. It's finished. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the Edge one next. Public Internet. And I'm going to do is this request this. Prepare the request now. And this one right is now. Prepare it now. Let's send a later offline certificate request. File name later is the file name. So we go through next, everyone, welcome is exportable. What we have to do is this. What we're gonna have to do is our configure. In this one right here. I'm configuring this one right here. Don't put the names on here. Specify any one of them. Add this one there. So I've added these additional subject alternate names. That I can use with a cert. Or next. Good, it's completed. All I can do is on this one right here, I can view. Let me select all. Let me copy that. Advanced. So I'm going to do is on this. Request a certificate. Advanced certificate work. Let's see if they put that one they wanted in there. Good. I need to select. So now I'm going to go back to this, select external edge, I'm going to assign it, finish, Skype for business management shell. Start the Windows service, and then I'll get the service, and it shows that they're running right there. And finally, I'm going to enable external access by using policy. going to the Skype for Business control panel. Federation, external access. External access. I'm going to edit the settings right here. I'm going to select all the checkboxes. Commit. Federation and public IAM. Domain discovery. 
remote user access, and enable anonymous user access. This concludes defining the Edge server and the topology and installing and configuring the Edge server. Thank you. See you soon.